Hi everyone, here we are going to discuss about biotechnology in paper industry. Paper and pulp industry is one of the biggest industries worldwide having strong influence on both global economy and ecology. The basic product cellulosic pulp is used for the paper making and as a chemical feedstock. Indian paper industry contributes to about 2.6% of the world's production of paper with turnover about 50,000 crore and provide employment to more than 0.5 million people directly and 1.5 million people indirectly. The industry uses variety of raw materials, wood, bamboo, recycled fiber, baggies, wheat straw, rice husk, etc. Consumption of paper can be correlated to a nation's GDP on national basis. Paper is manufactured from pulp by sulphite and sulphate process. The main pulping process used globally is the craft process. What is the conventional method of making paper pulp? Bark of wood is removed. The logs obtained are cut into smaller pieces called chips. The chips are cooked by heating under pressure using caustic soda and sulphur. By this lignin that binds the cellulose fibers are removed. This is the chemical pulping process. It gives 30% yield lesser than by mechanical pulping. In mechanical pulping, debugged logs are forced through rotating tooth steel disc. The disc tear the logs and remove the lignin. The lignin degraded gives paper a brownish tinge which are used for printing newspapers. Biopulping Biopulping is the treatment of wood chips with lignin degrading fungi. It improves penetration and effectiveness of chemicals during cooking of wood chips for separating the cellulose fibers from the lignin. Biopulping reduces the demand for energy and chemicals, improves paper quality, decreases the environmental impact of pulp production. Genetically engineered microorganisms and enzymes can displace many of the environmentally adverse practices used in pulp processing. Fungi such as Ophiostoma pelliferum can degrade lignin and is used in a fermentation process. Biobleaching Biobleaching of pulp with enzymes have several advantages like reduction of chlorine consumption, pulp dewatering, de-inking, removal of pitch, degradation of dissolved and suspended organics in concentrated effluents of mills. It enhances fibrillation to give stronger paper. Biobleaching eliminates few of processing steps, thereby simplify and reduce the severity of treatment of wastewater. Chlorine is used for bleaching processes which has a huge polluting potential. Pulp is usually tinged with brown color due to lignin content. Enzyme enhances this bleaching process by two ways. Lipases are used to control deposits of pitch. Cellulases are used to improve the rates of dewatering of pulp and used for drainage, de-inking and fiber modification. Pectinases for digesting pectins. Fungal and enzyme pitch degradation products are used in some TMP and sulphide mills. Enzymes control the properties of the pulp fiber and therefore the end product. Hydrophobicity of fiber surfaces can be altered by the enzyme lacase. The enzymatic process saves water and energy and the effluent is ecologically harmless. The lacase is used for direct delignification of pulp, enabling replacement of current bleaching chemical stages. Enzymes used for de-inking. Recycled paper fibers has to undergo de-inking process to remove whatever ink that gets fused onto the paper during printing. Cellulase enzymes are used for this de-inking process. What is the role of biotechnology in paper industry? Biotechnology can be resourceful in improving craft pulping specificity to lignin, reducing the loss of cellulose or hemicellulose during craft pulping bleaching operations. It is also required to develop low capital pulping, bleaching technologies, simplified pulp bleaching operations, elimination of the inorganic recovery systems for the production of chemical pulps. Biotechnology can be also helpful in development of biofilters to control, remove soluble organic and inorganic materials in the white water to control microbial growth in the water systems of a paper machine and development of biosystems to improve drainage and retention control. Biotechnology can play a leading role including improved de-inking and de-starching technologies to increase drainage, strength and other physical properties of recycled paper. Fragments, resin acids and other low molecular weight compounds which are released during chipping and pulping can be used to generate value added products. Genetic plant engineering used to improve the strength, yield and bleachability of mechanical and chemical pulps. Enzymatic systems are catalytic, highly selective and operable under mild temperature and pressure. 
Biotechnology has increased more than 25% in the efficiency of pulp production using wood as feedstock. Advantage with the enzymatic route for pulp making is including lesser cost for effluent disposal. Biotechnology has positively impacted on raw material cost, manufacturing cost, energy cost, environmental performance and the production of high quality products. Biotechnology based processes for paper industry should reduce the capital cost of pulp production, generate higher value fiber resources, lower total manufacturing cost and make it commercially feasible. Thank you.